Okay, and I'm back this evening for round two. Might be the last round for the night, I don't know. Depends on how I feel. Um, so, I last night I did the Fatale, and I'm gonna, about to do another one from the same people I bought it from. HH uh, Farms was the name on the uh, box that they sent the stuff in, so that's what I'll put the, it under. And thanks to them, by the way, for the uh, great assortment of peppers, including this, which is one of their mystery varieties. They wouldn't, they didn't say in the auction what it was. I sent them a message, but I still haven't gotten a response as of the time I'm testing this as to what the name of the variety is. It might be a secret hybrid that they've been working on, um, or maybe, I don't know, but they said two secret, uh, scorching ones, and so this was one of those ones, unnamed. Uh, I guess I'll find out if it's annuum, baccatum, frutescens. It kind of looks like it could be frutescens based on the shape, but it also could go, uh, based on the way that, I don't know, the stock looks similar to, uh, one of the nagas or, or other habaneros. So, I guess I'll find out. Let's see if we got any I want to say it smells habish. So, uh, here we go. Unknown variety. <coughs> Inhaled wrong. <coughs> right when I was biting in. Definitely chin ants. I can taste the habanero. <clears throat> ah. Faintly bitter. Not really tart. <clears throat> mm. It's not as hot as it might appear by my reaction. <clears throat> Just got a big knot of mucus. Can't really talk very loud. <clears throat> okay. So, faintly bitter. Um, not really sweet or tart. Distinct habanero flavor. My suspicion was that it was, if not the exact same, at least mainly close, maybe closely related to the Peruvian white habanero, or white lightning, or white bullet habanero, whatever. It goes by several names. <clears throat> but, that's not blisteringly hot. Um, maybe I just got one that wasn't as punchy. It's got a good heat to it, don't get me wrong. Um, hotter than the last one I had, especially based on the size. Got that distinct, warm, pleasant habanero overall burn top of my tongue. Got a little bit on my lip, actually. Roof of my mouth got a good little glow happening. But it's a lot more even of a burn. It's not like stingy just on the tip of my tongue. Like some, especially annuum varieties. Even the hotter annuum tend to be more localized, even the really hot ones. Um, but yeah, this one, this is a nice pleasant burn. Um, little warmth on the lower lip. Um, top of my tongue's got a good pleasant even glow on it. Not stingy, just kind of glowing, radiating at a good low to mid level. Nice bit of a trail of warmth all the way in the mid part of my esophagus down to my stomach. Not unpleasant. Yeah, it goes Whole top of my tongue onto the sides, especially towards the back on the sides. Roof of my mouth got is domed over a little bit with with a bit of warmth, but yeah, <clears throat> those would be great for a for a, some sort of pico or spicy salsa. Had a good hab flavor. It's a little. Uh, it was a little bitter. I don't know if they'll all have that same bitter flavor to them. They're all around the same ripeness, so maybe. Um, 
But whatever the case may be, uh, throw those in, marinate them with some some spices, you know, like garlic and cilantro, cube some tomatoes and onions, make a good pico out of them, uh, good medium kick to them. Very nice. So, cool. I'll cut this one off since the burn peaked fairly quickly and it's already diminishing, so yeah. Um, I'll do a bit of research. Maybe I can figure out doing some detective work what this variety is. But until then, unknown small habanero. Nice uh, pale yellow color. So, cool. Well, see you next time.